In this video, I just want to show you real quick exactly where the Avid Application Manager downloads and installs things from whenever you click the download button over here and whenever you click the install button. Now I'm on Windows, so obviously this is going to be a different location for Mac, but if we come over here to my computer and go to our C drive, you'll see right here our Avid Downloads folder. Now if you don't see this, make sure you come to view and check your hidden items, okay? And if you don't have your ribbon, you can always just pop that out right there. So make sure hidden items is checked and it's the Avid Downloads folder. And you can see here's our downloads folder. That's where the Avid Application Manager downloads the files to. As you can see there, all of these files here, that everything that says install means that it's already been downloaded. If I were to click download, it would download this file to this folder here and it would be zipped. As you can see, it's zipped. Now, whenever we click install on one of these items, we see there's two folders here. This is the EX folder, which means extracted. So that's what happens because again, these are zipped folders. So whenever we click install here, it will extract them to this folder and then install from there. You could actually pop into this folder if you wanted to and just install from this folder or pop into here and uh, right click and extract all yourself and you can install that manually. But we'll see here, let me install so this flanger, which we already have downloaded right here. So we'll click install, it's going to extract it. And as you can see, it showed up right down here in our EX folder, I already have that open right here and it's installing here. So then we'll just go through the installation just like any other installation on Windows. There you go, that's installed. And then over here in our application manager, now our flanger is current. Now, as you can tell, even though we've installed these things, they have not deleted themselves. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. So. Every once in a while, if you're worried about disk space, things like that, you may, you might want to pop into your have a downloads folder and just pop in here, grab everything and just hit delete. If you want to, you don't have to, but you absolutely can. It won't mess up anything that you already have installed. All right. So just a quick video showing exactly where the download happens whenever you click that download button and exactly what happens when you hit that install button from your Avid application manager.